Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 1-6-2021. 20, 20, 20, um, so I thought I'd do a little video tonight. Not much going on with me. Um, I don't know. I'm, I suppose you guys are watching the news and all this stuff all day. Um, with the uh, riots in Washington, D.C. And they stormed the uh, Capitol building and all this stuff. Um, I was watching some of it on, on TV and stuff. And the... Uh, well, it says the House and Senate uh, is, uh, you know, back in session right now. Do uh, I think they? I think they voted right now as we speak, and they're uh, talking about that right now. I'm watching it on YouTube, um, ABC Live News. Um, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, a lot of it is political theater. Theater. Um, you know, they're all. Uh, Draw puppets and all this stuff, so, um, you know, but it, it's unreal, you know, um, you know, uh, people following Trump and all this stuff. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I was for Trump and then he kind of turned me off with all the tweets and, and the crazy talk and all this stuff. Um, I don't know why people are for him. I know he's not part of the uh, establishment and, and stuff and... I think that's why people are for him because he's not a politician and all that stuff. But um, he honestly hasn't done anything for TIs. Um, I'll bring up something else really quick. Okay, so somebody tonight in the community mentioned that Karen Stewart, Karen Stewart's lawyer, was in in touch with Trump, and after he went with after he was going to go after all the pedophiles and the, and all this stuff, then he was going to come and help us. You know, total bullshit, you guys. That's total bullshit, all right? Karen Stewart's been feeding this crap to us for the last four years. She, these people have no connections. They don't know anything. They're, they're perps, you know? If you don't think Karen Stewart's a perp, all right, well, she is, all right? Several people have been perped by her, including Todd Giffen has been perped by her, all right? And Todd Giffen's been uh, discredited by everyone, you know, and, and you know, uh, all these pre people on calls and all this stuff, oh, he lies and he's this and uh, Well, you know, I think he's in the same program as I am because I can relate to him, you know, and he talks about the same, some of the same stuff that I'm going through. So, that's that, <laughs> you know? So, you know, I mean, we got these, you know, some of these TIs that act like they're big and they know secret people and I know big people and oh my God. Well, why don't they get you out of the program then? Why don't they get you out of the program? If you know so, so much big people, why, why aren't they helping us? Why? You don't know any big people. You don't know your, you know, your lawyer's not talking to Trump and all this. Trump doesn't care about TIs. I wrote to him. You know, people, I don't know if it just goes in one ear or out the other or what. I wrote to him and they sent my letter to a mental health place. And I talked about all of us and what I'm going through. You know, people just don't want to, you know, they're not in reality, man. They're, they're looking through colored glass and, oh, you know, this person works for this NSA and they, Oh my God! They know. Oh my God! They're oh they're legit. And they, we gotta listen to them. And oh, you know, listen to yourself. Don't listen to anybody. Listen to yourself. Do your research. You know, we don't need to be listening like a puppet. Oh, go listen to this person. And uh, you know, <laughs> so you know, I don't know. I get upset uh, because we're we're um, so many people in this community are being fooled and. I don't know. Are they gullible? Are they that gullible? Or are they perps? I don't know. How can how can people be so gullible? I just I don't understand it. You know. So, uh, you know, but uh, you know, so people are talking about that tonight. Oh, Trump! Well, oh, he was gonna do something. He was gonna do something for Ti's. And, oh yeah. After he went, uh, he's secretly going after pedophiles, and he was asked about that in in a news conference. And he's like, oh, if that's if these people like me, you know, and that's what they think, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, it's been four years. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything for TIs. You know, this this uh, QAnon is full of 
bullshit. You know, there. Oh, now there's like five hundred thousand indictments. So there ain't no. You know, I don't know what it was, two hundred thousand or whatever. There ain't no indictments. We've been listening to this this guy for uh, the last four years. QAnon is a psyop. It's nothing but a psyop. This guy is an idiot. You know, and people follow him. You know, oh, I'm next to the president. I'm big in government. Oh, no, oh my God, he's going after all these people and, and all this stuff. And then Karen Stewart wrote to QAnon. And they said, oh, just don't do anything. Just hold on. Help is coming. It's Help is coming. She comes on these calls. Oh, help is coming. And, oh, I contacted QAnon and, and my lawyer's talking to Trump. And you know, it's all bullshit. Effing bullshit, you guys. You know, people need to wake up. I mean, you know, these people are full of bullshit. Nothing's happened in the last four years. You don't hear them now. Where are these people now? Where are they? Where are these people now? You know, they're, they're not speaking out. Because they're idiots. They're not speaking out. Because they're full of bullshit. Where are all these people? You know? We, we had that one lady uh, coming to the calls. It was from the UN. She was retired. And she's feeding us all this bullshit about the UN. And, oh, I don't know what her name was. Vivian, or I don't know what her name was. It doesn't matter. You know, and she she's feeding us all bullshit. You know, oh, the UN is, oh, we're, oh they're going to talk about this at the UN. And, uh, you know, this lady's nowhere to be found now. She, she ain't on the calls anymore. She's, where is she? Where is she? You know, where, where are these people? You know, they come in the, to the community and they feed their bullshit. And then when their bullshit is called out, they disappear. Where are these people that are supposed to help us? They're nowhere to be found. You know, and then you got the moderators that are still, they got to, you know, they're, they're holding on to that. You know, they want to give you that little bit of hope, little bit of hope. You know, and some TIs fall into that too. I don't know if they're real or if they're fake. You know, there's a couple TIs out there that I, I think they're real, but God, they act like perps. They act like perps. They're friends with perps. They're buddies with perps. It's unreal. It really is unreal. You know, so, sorry, I'm on a rant. I didn't mean to get on a rant and get loud and all this stuff, but, so it's been a crazy day with, Congress and the senators and the riots and all this stuff and Trump tweeting they suspended his account for 24 hours and his Instagram account for 24 hours you know my personal opinion is he needs to get his ass out of there they need to do the uh, what is it 24th 25th amendment and, and get him the hell out of there this guy, this guy's gonna, he's gonna cause a big riot around the U.S. You know, he's gonna cause some major problems if, you, if they don't get him out of there. So Democrats, are, they're gonna be looking into removing him before he's supposed to be done. You know, I think they should. He's acting all crazy. You know, he, he, he thinks he won. He thinks he won. He, he can't accept defeat. He thinks he won the election. You know, oh, he won by a landslide. No, what are you, what is wrong with you, man? The guy's a narcissist control freak. You know? Why people are, you know, I was, I was for him at, at first, but, you know, why, you know, when I, when I started, uh, Looking at him and looking at his tweets and all this stuff, you know, why are people for him? Why? Especially T.I.'s. Well, he hasn't done anything for us. He's not talking to Karen Stewart. You know, do you really think that? Come on, you guys. These guys are full of crap, man. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It just, I don't know. I, I wish we wouldn't have so many misinformation agents around, you know, 
uh, spreading misinformation all over the place. I don't know, I just got a little message there, so I think I might have to cut this off, you guys. So there's my rant. I'm sorry for that. Okay, I'll tell you something funny. So I laid down from 6 to 7 after supper, and then I thought, well, I'm going to go for a ride and go to the gas station because I need gas. Because I'm going camping tomorrow, me and Tanner. Tanner and I are going camping tomorrow. Okay, so I got close to home. I was actually going to the gas station, but I ride by my house. So I ran out of gas. You know, my gas gauge wasn't even on empty all the way. And I ran out of gas about a block away from my house. You know, so I had, uh, had my relative take me to the gas station, get gas and all this stuff. And then my van didn't start up right away. It was like, whoa, 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 you know, and all this stuff. I'm like, oh, great. Do I have a van repair coming up, you know? But then it finally started, and I, I got it home. It was fine. So I have to go get gas in the morning. I have to go get a bundle of firewood. And, um, and then for supper, we're just going to bring... Well, Tanner's going to eat at home, but then I'm bringing it for supper. I'm just going to go get a couple cheeseburgers from Quick, Tri Quick Trip and bring up to the campground with me. You know, we're going to have a couple drinks and have a fire. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Screw these guys. You know, I need to get out there and enjoy myself. And you guys need to enjoy yourself too. Screw these guys. I'm telling you, when you watch all these videos and all this stuff, it's too depressing we gotta take a break from all this stuff all this conspiracy stuff all this ti stuff those calls we gotta take a break from this stuff and clear our head and look at the sunset you know and and just be in peace we gotta find a peaceful place for ourselves every now and then you know and, and, and just push all this stuff, push it away, you know, and just look at the sunset, you know, and chill out, you know, have a cup of coffee, have a cup of tea, and just be like, take a deep breath, and relax, you know, we need to do that every now and then, not, not enough people do that. We gotta start taking care of ourselves, you guys. You know, and uh, especially if you're a TI, you know, we gotta start taking care of ourselves mentally and physically. You know, and we gotta take a break from all this stuff. It's just too much on us. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut this off. I got another message. So, anyway, you guys uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you later and stay safe out there.